up guys thanks for tuning back into the channel so we're here back at Tommy's shop and we're gonna be working on the truck the only thing is that we're not gonna do too much work uh, there's still a lot of planning to do since I'm not here all the time but I'm not gonna upload the video to get enough content to make everybody happy because lately it seems like everybody's pissed off because I just upload something small so I'm gonna rack up the videos make a long video for you guys and then I'll upload it but for now we're gonna be cutting this little cross member off because we no longer need that so I'm gonna cut a little bit off the chassis as well so let's get to it Alright, so you guys saw me cut the little cross member that we had off and we cut off a little bit more of the chassis that we're not going to be using. I just cut these plates out. We're going to be welding them to the end of the chassis. We're going to be using that to start mounting the rest of the subframe. Alright guys, so this is where we're leaving off today because Tommy ran out of gas. So this is the initial setup that we're going to be doing. Fuel cell is going to be sitting in the back is going to be hanging off the subframe cage hey what's up guys so today is three or four days later after i left tommy shop and i have good and bad news bad news is that the truck's here i'm not going to go into details only because there's still other things going on i'm going to tell you guys the full story once things settle down but once that happens then i'll give you guys the full story but yeah trucks here we're either well most likely we're gonna finish the truck here but it's gonna take a long time to do so only because i don't have the shop equipment uh the good part is that the truck is here so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna start doing all the turbo fittings uh mounting the turbo i'm gonna make a I'm gonna start converting the hydro from inline to individual master. So I'm gonna be running dual, uh, I think it's called RB powered uh, dual, dual caliper bracket. Uh, it allows me to use two single pot S13 uh, calipers. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm still rocking 15s and every other adapter kit has to make me go either 16s or 17s. And I'm not down with that on this truck. Alright, so the turbo that I ended up getting, it's a 54 trim. It's supposed to be good for, what, 450 horsepower on a 4 banger. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and mock this up, put it in the truck. And yeah, let's see how everything works out. So I got to go from the T4 studs, I got to move them down to the T3 so I can mount up the turbo. But... Yeah, let's get to it. Good morning guys, so today's the next day. So last night I did do a little bit of work, but the battery died on the camera so I had it to charge. So. What I ended up doing last night was I ended up welding a 10 a.m. bung to the head drain that's on the very bottom of the block. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. Not sure how well you guys could see it, but there it is. That's the head drain. Not sure how well you guys could see it, but right there, 
right there is the bung that I welded and this red thing right here is the uh, drain drain fitting for the turbo so they line up pretty well all right so those that are wondering I'm gonna go over the entire build once it's done but this is a 3 8 I believe uh, BNPT that's gonna be the turbo feed and I'm gonna have a 24 inch hose that goes from there to the inlet so turbo is looking pretty good the only issue right now is just the inlet of the turbo I'm gonna need to buy a aluminum cast 90 degree elbow get that welded on so it could be pointing here so around here it's gonna go up and I already have the uh, intercooler piping hole made it's just I gotta relocate my power surge pump to the inside of the bed I gotta move the reservoir uh, somewhere else not sure where maybe on the other side but yeah it's turning out pretty well if only the truck was done already look at that camber that fitment looks pretty dope right don't worry once it's done i'm not gonna be rocking these wheels anymore and i'm not gonna rock this much camber i'm gonna ro try to rock as zero as possible the only reason for the irs is for the toe and the caster to help me a little bit more to kick out but at the same time i got the irs for free all i did was upgrade the arms and here we are where we're at right now all right guys so i hope you guys really enjoyed the video so far uh, I know some of you are going to be bummed out because of what happened. The truck's here, the chassis took cut in half. So don't worry, it's going to go by really slowly, but it's going to get done. Uh, so yeah, the chassis still cut in half. I still got to do the two rear end. Uh, I'm going to be putting new wheels on because I don't want to run this much negative camber just to use the same wheels. I'd rather get either an positive offset or just get skinnier wheels in general but while the truck's here the IRS is gonna get done the turbo is gonna get done uh, I me personally want to yank all the wires out and redo it I already found harnesses for the tail lights the headlights <coughs> uh, and pretty much everything else and then when the truck is running I'm no longer going to be running the stock ECU. I'll be running a Link uh, plugin. So that should be fun. Uh, just don't know whether or not I want to keep the original wire harness or get one made. So that's still up in the air. I still don't know what I want to do. But I still got to do the intercooler piping, the tuber in, the wiring. I still got to get injector dynamic injectors. So the list goes on and on and on. But I mean, it's going to continue. Once it's up and running, I really do plan on traveling to other states. I just want to drive this truck. I mean, I want to slide it too, but I want to take a small road trip. So we'll see how that turns out. Don't forget, guys, there's a link down below if you guys want to cop some merch. Uh, I do have sweaters, jackets, hoodies, leggings, socks, blankets. The list goes on as well. Go ahead and support your boy and cop up some merch. Uh, let's keep the project going and I'll keep you guys tuned into every little piece I do. I'm going to try to get more content into the videos rather than just say I'm going to do this and that's it. So, see you guys on the next video.